This box has just arrived at the MOTV headquarters and it is the HP Reverb, the new Windows Mixed Reality headset from HP. And the exciting part about this headset is the high resolution, 2K times 2K per eye and well designed. That resembles more something like what we had imagined the Rift 2 would look like. Now in this video, I'm going to unbox this box and I'm going to give it a first phase on try and all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. And if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. So here it finally is, the HP Reverb. As you know, when I get new headsets, first of all, I'm going to unbox them and I'm going to give it a first phase on try. That is this video and then I'm going to review it. I'm going to compare it with other headsets. So the full review of the HP Reverb is coming up, but not in this video. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's see what's inside. Life like VR like never before. Well, that's at least what they say on the box. And of course, we're all looking forward to find out. All right, the first thing that greets us here is some paperwork, some manuals, not so important. Few of us are going to read it. And here, this is the cable, 3.5 meters long. On one side is the connection to the headset. That's this one. And on the other side, you will find a mini display port adapter so you can plug it into your laptop and if you unplug the adapter it's going to be a display port 1.3 and the other part of the cable is usb 3.0 then here on the right side two controllers and these controllers are the original windows mixed reality controllers and well, they are not the greatest controllers. I still think they're better than the Wands, but they're definitely not better than the Oculus Touch controllers. Batteries to go with it. And now we already get to the main event here. This is the HP Reverb. You can see the two cameras here in the front, typical for the Windows Mixed Reality Inside Out tracking. And well, overall, the design, it does look like the original Rift. Then we have this interesting texture, this kind of carpet-like texture. Interesting that they put it there. It reminds me a bit of the Daydream headsets. Now the device feels really light. It's like less than 500 grams. And again, very comparable to the weight of the original Oculus Rift. Also the headphones, they look very similar to those of the Rift. And uh, yeah, the straps, three straps, just like the original Oculus Rift as well. Let me open this here. Well, it's Velcro and here the headphones. Also the same mechanism, just like on the original Oculus Rift, where you can simply like fold it out, which I personally like very much. If you don't want to use those headphones, you can use your own and that's why we'll find a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack here. And this is the place where you plug in the cable. Now, very important for each and every VR headset unboxing, getting rid of the protective foil. Oh yes, <laughs> this is very satisfying. And one more. Oh yeah, the sound, very nice. Yeah, so let's have a look at those lenses. As we can tell, they are Fresnel lenses and we got used to Fresnel lenses right now. Now, if we look a bit closer at the face padding, what will come to our attention is that it looks just like the Oculus Go face padding. So it's made out of cloth and just like with the Oculus Go, you would have to remove the whole face padding if you want to exchange it and also you would have to get rid of the lenses first so exactly the same system like with the oculus go and therefore i would say hey this is a fusion between the oculus rift design and the oculus go design what you've just seen there for a moment were the two microphones on the bottom of the device and very important this device does not have manual ipd adjustment 
So this will be a problem for all people who have a very big or very small IPD, interpopulary distance. And HP says that everyone can use it who has an IPD of 63 plus minus 8 millimeters. Headphones are made with this typical soft foam, nothing special here. And the part that touches the back of your head is made of this soft cloth that does look very, very comfortable. So here it is, the HP Reverb. And as you know from my unboxing videos, this is not about reviewing this device. This is about giving you my very first impression as what the build quality is concerned, for example, and the first phase-on test. So now let me tell you about my very first impression, just holding it, just looking at it. And um, yeah, let me tell you what I think. So in terms of build quality, this looks so well built. The build quality is very high. It reminds me of one of these original Rift headsets, or it's actually a mix between Rift from, from, from how it looks, from the design, and actually the Oculus Go here with, with this kind of faceplate that yeah you would have to take out completely and where you would have to take out the lenses first and then the whole faceplate. This is just exactly how the Oculus Go is built. So this is like a mix between the original Rift design and the Oculus Go design. So definitely very, very high quality. For the headphones, you can adjust the position and uh, yeah, you can also do something like this. Also exactly just like with the original Rift. So if you look at it, this really could have been the Rift 2 that the Oculus fans had been waiting for. And actually I do have the original Rift here just to compare it. And um, yeah, well, <laughs> it is quite similar, I must say. So that is really interesting to see. Anyways, now let's do the first phase on test. Well, I have already tested this in uh, at the at the GDC. However, I only had a few moments, so it's going to be interesting now to put this on here at the MRTV headquarters for the very first time. And you can join me doing that. All right. Yeah. Okay, I have a very tight fit right now. So, first thing I can tell you, it feels very, very light and it feels really, really good. Um, what I can tell you is there is nearly no light leakage. So, they have done a very good job on, on light leakage. Can you, can you see that? So this is very well isolated. Um, yeah, so my second impression, since I had the first impression in San Francisco at GDC is, well, it is a very, very comfortable headset. It's very light and yeah, I have to, I have to check it for longer periods of time, but my very first impression is good. Also, like the length of the headphones is no problem. Like I know that some people, they have problems with the length of the headphones for the Samsung Odyssey, but I don't think you will run into any problems here with this device. So the, the for the face pad, it is made of some cloth, just very, very similar to what the Oculus Go actually has and the well, I really like the Oculus Go design. It's very comfortable and the same for this headset. I think I can even make it a bit bigger for myself. And then I'll try again. So yeah, really good. A very, very good first impression here as what the comfort is concerned. And I must tell you, I'm normally, I'm normally not a big fan of this kind of ski mask type of headsets. I normally prefer the Halo style of the PSVR or actually of the Rift S. 
So that is something really interesting to see that actually I really think that this is comfortable. And here you can still adjust adjust a bit the angle of the device as well. So that is really cool. Yeah, I believe especially for sim players who want to be in virtual reality for long periods of time, this could be great. I have to I have to check it of course for much longer. This is my first impression for for the fit. But the first impression is absolutely positive. So I have a big nose and um, actually I don't have problems with the nose. I read I read the fantastic um, review from Dan Lang from, from Road to VR and it seems like he had some problems here with his nose. But from my first impression right now, I, I don't feel that the device would be like sitting on my nose. Actually, not at all. Yeah, but I will tell you guys in the full review. For now, I can just tell you that my very first impression is a very, very positive one. And um, yeah, without a doubt, I'm looking forward to try this now, to put it through its paces, to do lots of through the lens videos and pictures for you guys for the full review of the HP Reverb. Now, also very important to tell you, this actually is the consumer version. This is the consumer version. There's another version, like a pro version, which comes with one additional shorter cable that you can connect with the backpack computer. And also the pro version, which is like $50 more expensive, it comes with a, a wipeable um, face pad, something made of uh, fake leather. So this here is, again, this is some kind of cloth. Yeah, I would say that that's it for my very first uh, impression for the face on test and for the unboxing. Definitely stay tuned to MRTV for the full review. Of course, I will yeah, spend considerable time with the device to give you uh, a full and fair review. But definitely, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV and if you want to watch that review, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of my reviews in the future. That's it for this video. I want to hear from you now. What games do you want me to test with the HP Reverb? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And also, with which kind of comparisons do you want to see? With which headsets do you want me to compare the device? Unfortunately, I do not yet have the Rift S here, so I can't um, compare it with the Rift S now. But definitely, once I have the Rift S, I will without a doubt compare it. However, I do have the Oculus Go and they share the same screen. So probably I can do some comparisons with the Oculus Go. I'm looking forward to see your comments and I really want to know what kind of games you want me to check out with the HP Reverb. That's everything I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.